Hello, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review. And today, well, in about three seconds, I'm going to be reviewing Easy Cube by Axel Hecklau. Before you do this, can you please like, subscribe, check out Card Magic Course. That's my online Card Magic Course. If you like this review channel, uh, you will love that because it's like that, but teaching uh, everything I know with a deck of cards and everything I'm continuing to learn. Uh, so I share everything on there, live sessions, all that kind of stuff. Check it out. Uh, it's on cardmagiccourse.com. If you want a free spread cull download course, you can have that for nothing. It's cardmagiccourse.com forward slash cull, C-U-L-L. And uh, learn from a pro, that's what you want to do, that's me. So have a look. And uh, like and subscribe, I think I said that, didn't I? But if I didn't do that, and press the bell icon. So for example, this Monday, last minute I had to cancel my live uh, show, and if you get the bell icon, press that, you will get the messages saying it's cancelled, so you don't turn up for that and go, where is he? That would be annoying, wouldn't it? As uh, I'm sure a few of you did on Monday. Sorry about that. I didn't know, I forgot it was a bank holiday, and I had family stuff on. So, um... Too much information, probably. <laughs> Let's get on with the review. And then I went for a cup of coffee. And then what I did, I had a little one. No. So, of course, I was excited to get this. This ticks a lot of boxes. It's Rubik's Cube Magic and it's Axel Hecklau. And so you know it's going to be really well made, which it is. Uh, and you know it's going to be great, which it is. Okay. So it's not, a, there's no spoiler there. You know, Ex Axel Hecklau doesn't make bad magic. Okay. The effect, briefly, is, and a lot of you would have seen it, because you would have seen Axel do it, he won FISM with this in 2017, and he performed it a year before for the qualifiers in Germany and won the German Championships um, in 2017 as well, but the year before he, he, he performed with it. Uh, and if you win FISM, people have seen the routine. So people have seen this routine, and then, of course, you know we've got to mention the fact that Henry Harris came out with uh, Ruby's Dream 360, which is the same effect um, that looks very similar at the same time. This is not a place for me to kind of go, oh, well, this might have happened, that might have happened. The fact of the matter is, in my eyes, they came out of it. With what I've found out, and I've researched this quite a lot, they came out of it independently. Now, that's all we know, and that's fine. Um, and I will, I have, I'm getting an RD360 sent to me to have a look at. I'm borrowing one so we can do a uh, comparison. So if you come along on the Thursday show, hopefully if it comes by on time this Thursday, the Comments on Comments show, we'll do a comparison there. But turn up for that anyway. It's great fun. Five o'clock uh, UK every Thursday where we just talk about what I've been talking about. So the... I, I've not had uh, RD360, so I hadn't played with, with the shell before. And we can say shell, you know, like um, people talk about this openly, and I don't think it's, it's, we kind of all know what it is. Uh, but I'm not going to show it. But what I will do is I'll show it close up, because that's what you can do with this. The, um, the FISM act that Axel did involves the participant taking the cube out of the bag themselves and then doing the last bit of the sole themselves so you saw the effect um at the beginning if you if it I've, I've cut a version of me doing it if it didn't put it at the beginning i'll put it now so there are three there's, there's, there are five routines on this actually the first one is the basic routine you you get the spectator to mix it and that's important it's a spectator so if you if you look at all your other cube stuff, you know, that is similar with bags, it, it involves an instant stove, the solve. You do not have to know how to solve a cube to do this, very importantly. And you don't even have to, I would say with most cube magic, you, I would suggest learning how to solve a cube because if something goes wrong, if you're doing a, an instant solve and you've got it set up in a stack and you do something wrong, then you want to be able to solve it. But with this, there is no, there's none of that stuff going on. The... So the basic routine is they mix it up, you put it in the bag, you bring it out, and it's solved. All right? That's it, uh, without knowing any algorithms or anything like that. The second routine is the sucker routine, um, and we've seen versions of this with the kind of algorithm type of thing as well, and you know, where, where you, you pretend there's another one in there. So basically, the idea is if you've got a bag like that, and you go like that and bring out a solved cube, the first thing they think is there's one in there and then you show that there's not. And actually Axel's got a lovely routine where he's got added bits onto that. It isn't just that. He kind of creates this whole thing where he doctors the bag in a very, in a very easy way. And he talks you through all the sort of arts and, arts and crafts if you want to do that later on, but you don't need any of that. You can pretty much do this 
out of the box. I will say incidentally that you do have to, when you get this, you get the popcorn bags, a few of them, um, which you can always get more of. You get the everything you need to perform it, but you have to put the stickers on yourself because you can either do this um, going on to one of the other routines, you can do this as an instant solve, or you can do this as a mix. So they you, you um, match it with someone's mixed cube. So if you think of Venom cube, something like that, but without actually having to put the things together and have any of that going on, then you start seeing the power of this. And by the way, I love, I'm a big fan of both people, Axel and Henry Harris. So again, there's no kind of bias here at all. The uh, other routine is the, so he's got a FISM routine in there. He's got the spectator solving it in a basic way. And then he's got his, his FISM routine, the thing he did with FISM, where he rips the bag open and the spectators actually turn the cube inside the bag, um, made it look like they are solving it. And then he rips the bag apart and the, and the cube is solved and the spectator is holding it in their hand, which is just brilliant, isn't it? I mean, it's just, it, it doesn't really get much better than that. And then he's got his uh, a table hopping routine where he kind of mixes, and this is what I'm sort of interested in playing with as well. He mixes this routine with the uh, Usui routine and the um, and he also references Stephen Brundage. And again, there was all a big thing of, you know, who came out of it first? Well, you know, the, the, the Cube DVD came out first, but then people do come up with stuff on their own. So let's just give people the benefit of the doubt and be nice and kind of not just sort of accuse people when we really don't know. But anyway, <laughs> that's only a few for, I've been reading the forums, can you guess? <sighs> I don't want to go in there for a while. Um, Actually, some of them are lovely. I don't want to be like that. Uh, so you've got the, the mix between the instant solving stuff, which again isn't that hard to learn, and and this gimmick, and you've got real miracles. But even I would say the basic, the very basic kind of routine with this uh, is really strong. And I know this because I've done it. And again, I haven't got footage of me doing it because it's just not something I can do at the moment. Again, if you're watching this in the future, it's still lockdown or lockdown light in the... Uh, in, in the UK, but I have shown this to friends, I have shown this to family members, I have sat, we're allowed to go outside in pubs at the moment, so I've shown a few people, and they just absolutely have no idea. There's no reverse engineering here. They just cannot get their head around it. So it's incredibly strong. Now, Axel Heckler, and again, I, I can't do a comparison yet, but I'm looking at what I'm seeing now, this is incredible. You look at it, and I've shown this to people, they've had it in their hands, and I'm not saying you'd want to hand it around for people to have a good look at, but they pull it out of the bag and then, you know. It just looks so good. And he he said he um, he's done this at a convention with a, a sort of semi-professional cuba that does cubing, and, and he, he didn't know it was done, and he pulled the cube out and went like that. You know, there's no risk. So, I'm saying there's no risk, there's risk in everything. So you've got five amazing routines on here. You've got a great download that goes talks you through everything, even how to kind of, you know, dock to the bags if you want to do one of the routines, which, again, is very, very easy. Go through the history of it, the performance techniques. Again, Axel is someone that performs this stuff. And I did see his show. I saw his Zoom show. Brilliant. Um, a few days ago, and it was so lovely to be a spectator again. I, and it wasn't, a, it wasn't a lecture or anything like that. It was, I was sitting there with a lot of other magicians and non-magicians, and, you know, he is someone that has performed, he performs twice a week, I think it is, in Berlin. So he's got the chops, he's got the stage time, he's got the flight time. And, and everything he puts out, he does, as you know, well, he won the World Championships a bit in FISM. So, so you're getting all those techniques as well, which I think is really important because it is tempting with this stuff to go, oh, I can do it now, bang. But he goes, no, well, if you do this and say this and do it like this and actually be careful of this and make sure this doesn't happen, give it, you've, you've got all the subtleties that make it really, really work. I will talk more about this uh, on Thursday. So even if you're watching it in the future, watch comments and comments. Um, it says underneath it what I'll be talking about because I think there is more to say, but I don't want to go on too long here. All I will say is I absolutely love it. It's beautifully made, as is everything he makes. Um, and it is uh, now really confused because I have it in my head that I'm going to do this kind of cube routine in my show, which is not this one. And now I'm looking at this and going... Oh, I really like the idea of doing this. It's it's just great. I love it. What else can I say about it? You know, angle-wise, it's all happening in a bag with this. So your angles are completely fine. Um, there's one with a big bag, one with a small bag. You can go the comedy route. I think there is a lot of comedy in this. And not just the comedy gag of going, oh, there's another one in there. I think there's a lot of really milking that and really going for it and making a big thing out of it and 
you know, you can really build that moment up where at the end, obviously, you fold it up and you throw the bag away. I think they're going to be so convinced there's an extra cube in there. I mean, it's brilliant. Um, and you're going to be able to do it straight away. It's so easy because you're meant to be solving a cube, right? So if, you, if you're in there and you kind of, if you get a bit stuck and faff a bit, which you're really not going to, but if you do get, that's kind of what's meant to be happening. So there's genuinely nothing to hide. And, you know, take it out and have a nice time of it straight away and then work on your, your presentation as you're doing it. So uh, that's great. So Easy Cube by Axel Hecklau. Ask any questions. I will answer them in the next comment section. So do comment below. Do use the links below. Uh, check out Axel's site because, you know, massive thank you for him sending this to me all the way from Germany um, to review. And this is not a new thing. People have been asking, uh, you know, do more sort of older stuff. So I am going to. There you go. There it is. And it seems to be at the moment, the older the better. You know, there's amazing stuff coming out at the moment. But I'm really enjoying finding the finding the gold that's been out for a while so uh there you go have a good one please like subscribe check out cardmagiccourse.com uh get your free cold uh course download that's a whole course on the spread code best moving card magic uh cardmagiccourse.com forward slash cull c-u-l-l don't know why i keep doing that but it's there and it's staying and uh, have a great one take care bye bye